Little Depot back here again. And I'm um, just going to straighten out a little bit of confusion on venting because um, a lot of homeowners don't seem to realize what needs to be vented and what does and how far a vent can go. Does one vent take care of everything? And basically what happens, and it's very, very simple, if you have a wall, a 2 by 4 wall, and you have a vanity or, or a sink that's going to come off of it, or a vanity, whatever it's going to be with a faucet, you're going to have a trap. And if you have a trap under that sink, there has to be a vent. For every trap, there has to be a vent. Period. It's that simple. So when you come with your waistline across the basement and up, you would put a TY in the wall and go up through the roof. If there happens to be a toilet bowl across the bathroom, and the waistline is also going to the toilet bowl, well, there's got to be a T off the toilet bowl underneath in the lead vent and going up through the roof. If there happens to be a tub on the line, and there's a trap coming off for the tub, there has to be a vent off the tub going up through the roof. Now, they don't have to go up through the roof independently. You can join them all together. In the attic, in the wall, and only go up through the roof once. Here's your roof line. You only got to go up once. But the bottom line is, if there's a trap, there has to be a vent. If there's a trap, there has to be a vent. The toilet bowl doesn't have a trap under it because there's a trap built in by the manufacturer. It's in the bowl. It's still a trap. There has to be a vent. Period. There is no other way around it. You have to vent them, and they have to go through the roof. Now, if you do have one main stack that does go through the roof, and you want to add a second bathroom on, every fixture still has to be vented. Except this time, once you have your pipe and your TY and your trap, you can put what's called a student vent on it or a pro vent in the wall. Pro vent, student vent. As long as there's one main vent going up to the roof, secondary bathrooms and fixtures that have a trap can be vented in the wall or in the attic. They don't have to penetrate through the roof. Check your local codes. That's legal in most towns. It's called a studer vent. But the, uh, the initial bathroom has to have at least one inch, one three inch main stack or four inch main stack going up through the roof before you can start with your pro, your studer vents. But every time there's a trap, there has to be some sort of a vent. If it's a sewage ejector pump in the basement, that canister that you sink down into the ground, which we're going to go over, that has to go up through the roof on its own. And every fixture in that bathroom in the basement also has to have a vent.